Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode one of Rent a Girlfriend. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, can I call you Kazu for short? He's cute though. That sucks. Oh my god. Oh, after all, oh my god. <laughs> she blocked you. Oh my god. That's perfect for you, babe. Oh, don't cry. Poor baby, oh my god. You poor thing. She's not gonna be ugly. She kind of looks like Uzuki. <laughs> Ain't it funny? She's voiced by. <laughs> she would be voiced by Aqua slash Kasumi. <laughs> Damn, right then and there. I mean, shit, we can't wait until the date's over for an hour. Uh, how long y'all gonna be together? Shit. See, if he was voiced by Jun Yama, this would be just Persona 5 and the <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't bite 
died a mean review. Oh my god. He about to waste it all. The lies you tell. No, not really. Oh, fuck. I mean, you read about that, but... She's so adorable. Come on, now. You can't be mad at her. She had to. Well, I mean, in a way, that's her job. Mm -hmm. Hey, at least she's not an escort. Oh my god, it's Oh my god, mommy, no. I'm gonna say job shit. Hey, I do, do to pay the bills. And she has a right to talk to you that way. Hey, <laughs> 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 but she's just adorable. You gotta love her. Your dad? What, you could follow him? But at least you're okay. Like, mm. it could have been worse. Really? <laughs> oh my 
no dancers in this magazine. She wants some Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Damn. Tell them the truth. <laughs> yep, that's that Kasumi child. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Grandma! <laughs> Goodness. You would think his mom would be like this, not his grandma. <laughs> I mean, I know this is technically kind of an adult anime, but damn, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs>
go right in that dick. <laughs> huh? Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Stop. Oh, God. I mean, if looks could kill, that look. <laughs> Bitch, rough. Oh, damn, cheese it <laughs> Don't be sorry. Girl, you got bills to pay. <laughs> the lies you tell, I mean, come on now.
<laughs> oh, that fucking hurts. <laughs> Let's treat them. This is so freaking, oh my god, what is that dang show's name? I don't remember the name that I watched with freaking, um, it, it's so similar to freaking Hadahi and Funny Girl Senpai. It's literally, it was one of my favorite shows that I watched last year. I can't think of the name right now, but probably by the time I do, I'll probably end up putting it in the comments because she's like, she dresses one way this way and then a completely different way. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh my god. Kazu is adorable. I, I freaking love him, like, so much already. I mean, I feel bad for him, honestly. I think any guy or girl would feel hella bad for this character. But I feel like he's going to be someone who, no matter what, if you're a guy or girl, you're you're going to relate to in some way because we've all been through situations that he's gone through. I don't think I've ever really done, like, um, a run-up boyfriend type thing. I mean, if I ever go to Japan and I just want to do it for, you know, like, the experience, sure, yeah, I'll do it. I think it might be interesting. And then it'll be like, let me not catch feelings towards this guy or this girl or whoever you go out with because then it's going to hurt a lot more. But it's funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's a new, I mean, mm, do I want to say she's my best girl right now? I don't know. I kind of want to wait until the other three come in, even though we just met the other one. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't think him being around his ex-girlfriend is, I mean, well, no, it might be awkward as for, at first, like, because typically, yeah, uh, but I think, you know, eventually it'll be okay. We'll just see how, like, the chemistry, if they still have something there, I don't know, but, like, I feel like this show is going to end up having, like, Kazu and Chizuru be together by the end of the series. Um, I don't know about, like, manga-wise and such, because I think what I'm going to do is, when this ma well, I mean, manga, when this anime is over, I think I'm going to go ahead and read the manga just to see how it ends up in the end. Because, I mean, as someone who watched, um, did a reaction on Domestic Girl, Domestic Girlfriend, yeah. And I was a little curious, but I, I read, like, maybe two or three chapters of the manga, and then I was like, I really don't feel like reading this. And then eventually I went about, like, couple of weeks ago a month ago i believe we got I, I found out the ending and i was like oh okay yay best girl won thank you that's all i need to know but i mean yeah i, I really <laughs> like Tizuru. she tells it like it is i mean i can't imagine her being played by anyone else i mean i imagine her because i think they did a commercial for this and jin fukuyama um played kazu and i think aoi yuki um played shizuru and I only got to hear, like, a teeny little tiny bit of it. But, like, I mean, mm. My baby Aqua Kasumi. Like, I can't. Like, it's so freaking cute. Like, oh my god, she's adorable. But, I mean, you know, 
when she turns that rental girlfriend switch off, I mean, this is a bad bitch. And, you know, like I said, she gonna tell it like it is no matter what at the end of the day. And so, hey, I mean, I'm the type of girl who do that too. If I have to be honest with you, I will be honest with you no matter what. But I love her. And so I hope we get to see a little bit more of her in the following episode. It's funny that both of the grandmothers are in the same hospital. <laughs> but this situation has kind of got worse. But not in a bad in a bad way, more of a good way. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Burn a Girlfriend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. Bye guys.